Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Ryan and welcome back to a brand new video on HFSGP News and today we are going to be talking about the 2015 Superstock 600 champion top rack Raz Gatlioglu who is in his first year in the World Superbike class, the Turkish rider, the first Turkish rider in Superbikes I believe since Kino Safoglu uh, did a one year in the season on 2008 on the Tenkate Honda but we're going to be talking about top rack and whether or not he will be able to fight for wins, fight for podiums in the future because he had a very very good round six at Donington um, unfortunately in the first race he scored his first DNF of the season his first non-point scoring finish and that was just because his teammate for the weekend Leon Haslam unfortunately got caught up in an incident and took him out on the last lap at the Melbourne Loop but in race number two top rack started 10th and went back to 13th and then fought his way all the way back up to second position passing Jonathan Ray on the last lap at Starkey's so I think Top Rank definitely has the pace to be able to win races to fight for more podiums he obviously is signed with that independent Pachetti Kawasaki racing team for another year but that first podium for a Turkish rider is you know very very good for the Top Rack's confidence for you know the team's confidence and I think Top Rack will definitely be able to fight for some more wins obviously you know like I said the five-time retired five-time world super sport champion Kina Savogu he did go into super bikes but he wasn't able to kind of replicate what Top Rack is doing at the moment so I definitely think Top Rack he's definitely got more podiums to come he's definitely got more wins to come let me know down in the comments what you think do you think Top Rack can be that kind of new championship threat next year or kind of threat for Yamaha because it seems to be Kawasaki and Ducati is tier one and then Yamaha uh, BMW and MV Augusta, Honda kind of in that second tier with the Aprilias in there as well and then you have Top Rack in there as well on the on the independent Kawasaki so I think Top Rack will be able to fight for wins and podiums next year let me know what you think is down in the comments because it's going to be very hard to beat the man on the left there Jonathan Ray so that's going to be it for today if you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button here subscribe and I'll see you guys next time until then thank you for watching and goodbye <laughs>